Cheeto Pete Preter at Edda's, a philosophical dissertation at M. Lindsay Garden less than I greater than Gillian S. Dead, God rest her beer, how I loved her many years sin. Marion is married, but I sit here, alive and merry at three score year, dipping my nose in Gascoigne wine. Lamb as song, Thackeray. Less than slash I greater than a mellow or light doth sol afford, his meridian glare has passed D, and the trees on the broad and sloping sward their lengthening shadows cast. Time flies. The current will be no joke, if swollen by recent rain, to cross in the dark, so I ll have a smoke, and then I ll be off again. What s up, old horse? Your ears you prick, and your eager eyeballs glisten. Tis the wild dog s note in the tea tree thick, by the river, to which you listen. With head erect and tail flung out, for gallop you seem to beg, but I feel the qualm of a chilling doubt, as I glance at your fave right leg. Let the dingo rest, tis all for the best. In this world there s room enough for him and you and me and the rest, and the country is awful rough. We've ye had our gallop and days of yore, now down the hill we must run. Yet at times we long for one gallop more, although it were only one. Did our spirits quail at a new four-rail, could a double-double bank us, er nerve and sinew began to fail in the consulship of Plancus? When our blood ran rapidly, and when our bones were pliant and limber, could we stand a mare across counter then, a slogging fall over timber? Arcades ambo. Duffers both, in our best of days, alas. I tell the truth, though to tell it loath, tis time we were gone to grass. The young leaves shoot, the sere leaves fall, and the old gives way to the new, while the preacher cries, tis vanity all, and vexation of spirit, too. Now over my head of a pores curl from the bowl of the soothing clay, in the misty forms that eddy and whirl my thoughts are flitting away. Yes, the preacher s right, tis vanity all. But the sweeping rebuke he showers on vanities all may heaviest fall on vanities worse than ours. We have no wish to exaggerate the worth of the sports we prize, some toil for their church, and some for their state, and some for their merchandise. Some traffic and trade in the city as mart, some travel by land and sea, some follow science, some cleave to art, and some to scandal and tea and some for their country and their queen would fight, if the chance they had, good sooth, t'were a sorry world, I ween, if we all went galloping mad. Yet if once we face the joys of the chase from the land, and outroot the stud, goodbye to the Anglo-Saxon race. Farewell to the Norman blood. Where the burn runs down to the uplands brown, from the heights of the snow-clad range, what anodyne drawn from the stifling town can be reckoned if fair exchange for the stalker's stride, on the mountainside, in the bracing northern weather, to the slopes where couch, in their antler de pride, the deer on the perfume de heather? Oh! The vigor with which the air is rife! The spirit of joyous motion! The fever, the fullness of animal life, can be drained e from no earthly potion! The lungs with the living gas grow light, and the limbs feel the strength of ten, while the chest expands with its maddening might, God as glorious oxygen. Thus the measured stroke, on elastic sward, of the steed three parts extended, hard held, the breath of his nostrils broad, with the golden ether blended. Then the leap, the rise from the spring e turf, the rush through the buoyant air, and the light shock landing the various surf as an emperor then and there. Such scenes. Sensation and sound and sight. To summon and discover de shower on the current of time s remorseless flight have they swept to return no more? While, like phantoms bright of the fever de night, that have vexed de our slumbers of yore, you follow us still in your ghostly might, dead days that have gone before. Vain dreams, again and again retold. Must ye crowd on the weary brain, till the fingers are cold that end when ye of old round foil and trigger and rain, till stay ye for eye of the roving feet, till the restless hands are quiet, till the stubborn heart has forgotten to beat.
till the hot blood has ceased thee to riot. In Exeter Hall of the Saint may chide, the singer may scoff outright, the bacchanal steep thee in the flagonous tide, or the sensual sybarite. But no Linus name will flourish in fame, when our galloping days are past, when we go to the place from whence we came, perchance to find rest at last. Thy riddles grow dark, O oh, drifting cloud, and thy misty shapes grow drear, thou hangst straight in the air like a shadowy shroud, but I am of lighter cheer. Though our future lot is a sable blot, though the wise ones of earth will blame us, though our saddles will rot, and our rights be forgot, dumb vivimus, vivamus.